Welcome to Real Estate Investment Management Brokerage Development, LLC, protecting electrical wires uh, from danger of people uh, piercing them with nails and screws and other things and becoming electrocuted. Um, uh, the home we're living in now has 60 amps of electricity. This home has 400 amps of electricity, including things like car chargers. This uh, wire right here, look at how thick this is compared to my hand. You can imagine if someone uh, was hanging a picture and poked a nail through the sheetrock and they pierced this, um, it could electrocute them uh, in no time at all. So uh, what do we do? Um, this is uh, two by six construction um, where the where the wire penetrates, but uh, if you see that, then in addition, we added two by four construction uh, for some distance. On the opposite side of this, so we made like a, a cabinet in effect uh, for these uh, wires and pipes and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is where, where the wall uh, protrudes outward and then we added additional two by four. Um, but we weren't done there. Uh, so what we thought was important, let's see. We got a friend here, hello friend. <laughs> uh, so what we did, we, the electrical plates that protect wires, uh, we measure them to be a, a 16 inch gauge. So we had uh, steel plates made. And take a look at this. Uh, so on the opposite of that wall where the wire's coming down like this, we, we put this steel uh, 16 gauge um, plate. So you can see the wire runs up the wall and penetrates out through this. So this is going to be sheetrocked over and, and we, we protected it by adding a really long electrical plate. We're going to do that a lot in this house. And here is some of the um, steel plating 16 gauge that we ordered um, to affect that safety feature. We hope that helps you give I, gives you ideas on how to protect electrical wires and occupants where a lot of wires and, and pipes are penetrating the walls. Thank you.